A political veteran, a member of the Magic Circle, Lord Janna went to his grave pursued by those who claimed he abused them as children. Well, it was black and white, didn't you? <laughs> you haven't a clue, have you? I haven't a clue, haven't I? We've spoken to a man, one of 21 alleged victims, who says in the 70s the MP came to his children's home to do magic shows, afterwards taking children upstairs to undress and wash them. You, you don't get grown men undressing children and kissing them, basically taking advantage of children like that. Obviously it was touchy-feely kind of stuff. His hands were on you and you yes. were naked? yes. And you were how old? Um, about 11, 12. How did it affect you? It's mentally scarred me for life. I can never get rid of it, but I've got to learn to live with it. At least nine men were to have accused Lord Janna of child abuse here at the Old Bailey this year. But it's just been confirmed that his death means the criminal proceedings can't continue. Instead, the National Child Abuse Inquiry will take on the Jana case. I am, I am absolutely convinced she will hear them all in person and I am very hopeful that findings of fact will come out. We've discovered evidence that Greville Jana, as Leicester MP regularly visited the city's children's homes and one of their managers. The Beaches is no ordinary residential unit for difficult youngsters. In 1981, yeah, the BBC nice. filmed at this children's home where the manager was Frank Beck. He promoted a technique called regression therapy. Difficult children would be treated like babies, but that allowed him to viciously abuse them. Frank Beck was a brutal and manipulative paedophile. Jailed for life in 1991, he died three years later. You recognise that something's right or it's wrong. Former detective Graham Peen reported Frank Beck in the late 70s after seeing him rubbing a boy's groin. But he was to make another visit to the beaches. As I walked in, sat in an armchair, was Gravel Janna. Next to, next to Gravel Janna was this young boy. I thought well, that was a bit, a bit strange. What's an MP doing there? And what's a boy doing sitting on the arm of the chair? And he's actually been ta too tactile with the young boy who was obviously in the care of the local authority. You know, to me it wasn't normal, being a detective, you know, it was an unusual occurrence. And therefore, it's something that I felt that ought to be reported. And what happened after you put the report in? Well, I never heard anything more about it. A second police officer also reported his concerns, the BBC's been told. We spoke to dozens of men and women who lived and worked in the children's homes. Eight identified the MP as one of Beck's regular visitors. Greville Janna was one of them, definitely. How can you be sure who that man was? Because when I was 14, 15, I saw him in the papers, leaflets. And what did people say about Janna in the home? They, they were friends. Beck and Janna were friends. You know, he came to see Beck. Is it possible that Beck could have kept what was going on at the homes from, from a friend of his? Not a close friend, no. And they were close friends. A former official at Leicestershire Council told us when he raised concerns about Frank Beck's methods, Beck said he had Greville Janna's support. Beck used Janna's name to achieve, he said, whatever Beck wanted to achieve. Yet during Beck's trial, he and a former children's home resident sensationally accused Greville Janna of child abuse. Responding in the Commons, the MP didn't mention his visits to children's homes, but he did say this. There was, of course, not a shred of truth in any of the allegations of criminal conduct made against me during the trial by Beck. But there is now a thick file of allegations against the late Lord Janna. We understand at least 20 men and one woman have accused him. Twelve, at least, are former residents of children's homes. One says he was forced to have sex with Greville Janna while staying overnight at a different home. There are claims of sexual abuse at locations including a school, a former swimming pool at this Leicester hotel, even the House of Commons. Prosecutors are understood to regard the allegations as serious and the evidence overwhelming. It stands in stark contrast to Lord Janna's public service, including work to remember the victims of Nazi death camps and decades as an MP. His family have steadfastly defended him as an entirely innocent man of great integrity.